She was an educated lady, I understand, and very gifted. Can you tell us a little more about your mum? Well, she'd had a very good education, and uh, her brother was an army officer, and uh, her father had a cartier business, and they were quite well placed, to say the least. Um, her education included uh, l learning the piano and uh, singing, and uh, later life when we'd be celebrating the father and was, out of the blue she'd just start singing some of those famous war songs, First World wow. War. And um, she did have a lovely voice. But as far as the piano situation goes, uncanny. Really? In, in as much that um, if we say she last played the piano probably when she was in her twenties. So when she was in her 70s to 80s, we went round to visit my son Peter, who had bought this house, and lo and behold, he'd left an old battered piano. Right. And my mother simply sat down at the piano without saying anything, and away she went with this song. Um, oh, what was it now? Um, good boy, old man, I'm leaving Cheyenne. Right. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, she sang it beautifully. Wow, that's amazing. Now then, uh, I can't mention my dear mother without mentioning my dear father. Right. My yeah. father was the opposite. My father had had no schooling to talk of. Totally self-made man. Um, they do say opposites attract. Yeah, yeah. And in that sense, my father meeting and marrying my mother, yeah. it was resented. It seems. By her pit By her family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, marrying a common soldier as he was then. Yeah, yeah. And they all, like I say, they loved one another. They had a very long, happy life. Yes. And um, that's it. So, but your mother, we think, was probably um, cast out of the will, Ted. Is that correct? I think that's what must have happened. I. Um, I can say on two or three occasions, John, our eldest, um, my eldest brother, she would exclaim to him, I wonder what happened to all that money. Now, she had, um, I think a cousin who went to Canada. Right. And it, it was a puzzle to her. It was a puzzle to me. Yeah. Because that used to, and the, the point is, um, she thought the world of her brother, John, yeah, yeah. officer, he was an army he, officer, he wasn't he? He died quite young. He died also in his 40s, didn't he, as yes, well? Yes, yeah, yeah. he died quite young. So, it is a mystery. Uh, I seem somewhere to have read or heard that uh, he got about £3,000 for his properties. That was a fortune. In those man. days, it was a fortune. Yeah, and he, uh, like my mother said he had a very viable uh, cartier's business. Yeah. So it is a mystery. I think I worked out when you first told me that story that that would buy something like 70 residences today, yeah. £3,000 in the 1920s. Well, an even greater puzzle, because uh, I've had much, uh, many other things to look into apart from, uh, from this, but the fact that my mother's mother died six months after she was married, um, she would surely... Uh, 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 inherited? Yeah, inherited. My goodness, yeah. So, it, it's the something I haven't, I haven't bothered to dig into it because it's... But it's, she didn't get a penny from the will no, of no, her family? No, And the father had a very large carter business, which which means basically horse-drawn haulage, yeah, that's doesn't right, it? Yeah, which is all the gold down In Liverpool, it was a huge oh, industry. absolutely, yeah. And, and it was one of the biggest... Oh, in the, in some the, of them lying the the, they take loads and loads and loads of food and things, yes. And they had to be carted into oh, the houses. Oh, awesome carted, yeah. Great. Well, thanks for sharing that. Oh, and, and let me just add something before we go. Of course, your mother was used to opulence because she lived in India 
in the in, in the in the in the army quarters Best with three quarters. servants. That's right. Yeah. They have three servants yeah. in India. Yeah, if you Gather look sergeant. at as I say, if you look at her photographs, uh, especially when she's all in white with a white hat, and my father, like uh, as far as I'm concerned, she oozes affluence. Yeah, yeah. But that's the way it would have been in the peacetime uh, army. And that's where you were born, Ted. You, were, born, you were born in Puna, yeah, Puna, yeah, Puna yeah, Barracks. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely amazing. Been around and uh, yeah. happy life. Yeah, but just back, when your parents came back to yeah. England, they thought they were coming back to a, a similar amount of opulence. Yes, yeah. And they walked uh, into the Great Depression. The story, my mother seemed to... Uh, Enjoy releasing the hard times, if we could call it that, uh, because she'd had affluence. Yeah, yeah. Had a terrible time on the return to the strike yeah. uh, period, 1926. Yeah, yeah. Um, and coming from the top to living in basement flats. In Liverpool, yeah. In Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. Very, very soon the savings had gone, and because a long story short, my father was never backward in looking what had to be done next. Yeah, yeah. Someone had told him that there were people living in these shacks and fairs at Morton, which everybody knew about Morton. Right, somewhere. yes, yeah. So, because a long story short, my father went investigated. Yeah, yeah. And the next thing we knew, <laughs> told my Mother, he had found someone else for us to live. Because w when you moved from Liverpool, he, you were all in a basement flat, windowless. That's right. It was damp. Below this the was, road, yeah. And this was Scotland Road, or just off Scotland just Road. Just off Scotland Road. Yeah. And uh, that was very common to be uh, down in, living in basements. Yeah. Cold to down in one of your rooms. Uh, but as I say, you could only afford that kind of accommodation if he didn't have a decent job. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's really like interesting, going yeah. To, to look at the worst side of it, there was people, as many as 50, living in a dwelling. 50? Yeah, perhaps one room with six kids. My Same goodness. Same in Manchester, yeah. Wow, absolutely amazing. Well, again, thanks very much, Ted. <laughs>